Well, hello there. So I really don't like when people actually sit like this in videos. <laughs> well, we're gonna go with it. Please be in focus. Stop calling. There we go. Okay. Hey guys, it's Kate. Long time no see. Um, basically, I have been away due to computer and technical issues, but um, it's all good, all fixed, and I'm so excited to be back doing videos for you. I haven't done one for a month. Yeah, that won't happen again. But I went shopping recently, and I thought I could make it up to you guys with a haul, because I know you love hauls. If you don't like hauls and you're one of those people, then um, just X out, feel free to X out, and um, come back in like two days, and I'll have another video up. So yeah. All right. Let's get started. So the first place I went to was a American Eagle. And um, okay, so I recently found out that some people are tired of the high-waisted shorts factor, but quite frankly, I'm not. I got this pair of high-waisted shorts and they're just a little bit distressed. I've never had distressed ones, so I don't know how I feel about it yet. But I mean, they have pockets, so you're not showing your, showing your bare leg or whatever. So they're kind of like lighter at the bottom and then darker at the top. These are just some cute high-waisted jeans and they're called High Rise Festival Jeans. The next pair of shorts that I got are a bit shorter, but you know what, it's summer. But they're just these ones. I know they look really short, but they're honestly not that bad. And um, these are also from American Eagle. I think that these are the low rise shorts. And so that is that pair. Also from American Eagle, I got this white sweater and it's just really, really pretty and light. And I rolled up the sleeves as you can see and then it has a V cut on the neck. So it's a really pretty, like you can wear it off the shoulder. You can just wear it with a pair of shorts and a pair of like cowgirl boots. But um, yeah, so I love this and this has been worn many a times. The next thing I got from my American Eagle which, by the way, they forgot to remove this stupid little thing and I was going out in and out of stores, like through the mall, and it was like beeping and people were staring at me and I was like, I promise I don't shoplift. It's just this top right here and there's like almost a tribal print kind of design on the front of it and then in the back it's like a crisscross. This is kind of for those hot days when you just kind of like... When you just want to throw on a tank top. Oh, oh, and by the way, at American Eagle right now, they have a buy one top or shorts, get the other one for $10. So you should go to your American Eagle very soon so that you can get that deal because it's honestly such a good deal. The next place I went to is TJ Maxx. And the first thing I got was this really, really cozy, comfortable, like V-neck pajama top almost looking shirt. And this is by the brand AJ or Andrea Joven. It's really, really comfortable, and I think this was $19. The next thing I got from TJ Maxx is this really just basic white shirt, and it's kind of just as it's a bit sheer, but um, it has a pocket, and then they're just kind of flowy sides, really nothing fitted. Um, I kind of just don't like fitted stuff in the summer. I'm just like, give me a big t-shirt and I'm good to go. The next place I went to was H&M, and I only got one thing from there. I don't usually buy from H&M because their stuff is kind of getting expensive. And it is just this um, really pretty bohemian kind of top. It's a bit sheer, so I wear a bralette under it, which I also got, I think. Yeah, it's in this haul. The next thing I got were t-shirts from Cotton On. And guess what? They forgot to remove this one too! This one says NY City and it has a number. And it's kind of just again, big shirt, throw on, it's cute, it works. <laughs> I got another one even though it's like two totally different schools. I don't even know if these are schools, it's just really whatever. This says Arizona Falcons. Yeah. And this one has like little blue things on the sleeves. And it's kind of just, it can be an off the shoulder shirt too, which is really nice. I like off the shoulder shirts. The next place I went to is Hollister. And then there I got this bandeau for $10. Um, by the way, the prices and everything will be in the description box if you saw something you wanted. But this is from Gilly Hicks, which is a brand they carry at um, Hollister. And it's just a really nice bandeau. It's for those sheer pieces. So at Forever 21, <laughs> I got another basic t-shirt. Um, this is just a gray, t-shirt and it kind of like tapers at the sides and up front so it, that's really cute and that can be off the shoulder as well next place i went to was express and at express they had this 40 percent off everything sale and i really wanted a pair of sunglasses and i kind of always buy like the five dollar ones you know at like the um grocery stores or whatever but these ones are ones i got at 
Express. Oh, lanterns are falling. As I was saying, um, so these are them and they just have this really cool design on the side. I don't know, they're weird. They're kind of those like bigger frame glasses, but those are the kind that I really wear. So yeah, got those at Forever, um, h and Express for I think $20 because they were 40% off. So that was a good deal for me. So I don't know. It depends on what you want to spend. I know some people are just like, why buy this, the glasses if you can get them for so much cheaper at the grocery store, but I don't know. It's the first time, last time kind of decision. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to shoes. I went to Payless Shoes just to get a pair of sandals. I actually hunted everywhere for just a pair of sandals that I would like to wear with shorts or whatever. And I found these really cute ones. They're like crocheted at the top and then they're just like flat flat bottoms but they're crocheted at the top and I really thought they were just cute and they go with like my style of things um, and then my two favorite shoes one consists of this and I got these both at wet seal on a clearance sale for ten dollars a piece I shopped like a salesperson <laughs> that's not actually a thing I shopped like a um what's the word I'm looking for deal finder yeah. And then the next shoe I got were these cowgirl boots. I have been wanting cowgirl boots for the longest period of time, but all the ones I found, like at Target or whatever, just don't look realistic. But these ones actually looked like something I would like to wear, and I've worn these for like three times in a row, and I love them to death, and those were $10 also. So that is the end of this haul. I hope you guys all really enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and comment down below on any videos you would like me to do. So I'll see you guys all really soon, and I love you and miss you, and I'll see you soon. Bye!